presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys can come up in. Uh, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement. It becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on the truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. And boy, it's hard to find out the truth these days, man. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 27. NASDAQ, uh, where is she? NASDAQ up 26. S&P's down 11. Gold contract trading down $4.80 at 1782 an ounce. We have silver trading off uh, 37 cents, $19.99 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 69 cents, $94.59 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You have the 10-year note trading down one point plus eight ticks at 120.03. The 30-year off a full point plus 25 ticks at 142.29 and King Dollar. King Dollar's on the move top side big time here. You get King, excuse me, King Dollar's up 767 ticks, 106. 216. The euro is at 101. The yen's at 132. And the Br British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you get an oscillating market. Can't make it higher. I suspect you're going to back down a bit here. You get, take a look at the SPY. You know, Friday, bottom line, you come, you're coming into the June 1st swing point. June 1st swing point is 417. Friday, we made it to uh, 413. Fourth, yeah, 413. You had volume out there at 87. Yesterday, you did 69. The bottom line today, you should get 69. We'll see. If it doesn't get 69, you're going to get more of a back down. You know, I'm not expecting a disaster here, but I'm expecting some kind of a pullback. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. Same type of setup inside the NDX 100. Bottom line, you get right now, Friday, what we did is we did 57 million. Yesterday, we did 46. Now, we're going to do more than that. We're going to do like 50 million or something. So it has a shot of 57, that really. 17 million from now, that can be done. It will see whether it can hold price. So two different things inside the queues here. The price would have to hold is... A bit higher than we were right now. It traded a lot higher than this, you know. But this has been, if you've been in front of a machine, folks, this has been a nice day. It's been up, down, you know, two or three times. So you have 316.39 is your benchmark. You close over 316.39 and, you know, bottom line, then, then that, that could launch. That's what it comes down to. Uh, because you're already over the 314. That's what it's, you know, that was the June 1st level. And you can see when I bring this back, this is where this is at. So let me show you this. Because that we are coming up to a supply line that is huge. You can see this thing, you know, this is, so that supply line goes all the way back to January of 2021. So we got what, almost a year and eight months. And what a supply line specifically is, folks, is this. Picture everyone that bought over this level, right? If, the, if they held, they've been in a losing position. 
Well, you're coming up to that line. That's going to be a long line to take out. Let me tell you something. That's the bottom line. It's, it really is. Um, some of the higher volume equities out here today in this, in this market, and it's going to be a low volume market. You have Advanced Micro is up 240. You got uh, Uber's up 459. They're they, they went on all cylinders, no doubt about that. Came out with numbers this morning. NVIDIA is up a buck fifty. Let me make this bigger. There we go. It's a lot bigger, huh? <laughs> um, it's a little too big. Messing with these things, man. Come on. I don't get it. Anyway, let me get a different screen here. One second. Sorry about this, folks. For some reason, I got the print is huge. Now the print is small. What is going on? Nope. Phew. Doing something wrong here. <laughs> okay, one second. I'm getting a different screen. That's what I'm doing. That'll start it. Let's get a different screen up here. There we go. Okay. So uh, let's get into the, let's go take a, take a look at the gold market. Um, oh, no, no. We're going to bonds first because the bond market, this is something else, man. This is, you get bonds, they're in a confirmed ABC structure up. So let me see what this is doing here. So you've done 1.7 million, which is a lot of, but you went to a higher high and gave it up on price. Well, we'll see what happens. That's gonna, it means that we're going to turn into a, a complex ABC because we took out, see, we took out the 12016 with volume, which is saying the 124. We hit 122, and then this thing just sold off. Yeah, this has been selling off all day. So this starts selling off. Yeah, at uh, bottom line, 8 o'clock to 8.30 this morning. Uh, just sold right down. So right down to the strength. Uh, we go to the gold market. We take a look at the gold market out here. Jeez. Okay, so inside the gold market, we reached... i got to get these... These, I'll get these charts straight, folks, at the break, because this is brutal. <laughs> okay, so we got up to 805. You get 161,000 contracts. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's got to bust through this, but it's, it's going to take a bit. It's going to take a bit to bust through the 1808. That's, that's how ICE is set up there at 1808. But this is coming in with good volume in order to baby uh, to get that baby uh, busted. So um, it's intriguing that it's actually holding up at all with uh, with the dollar. The, the run the dollar is taking right now. Uh, Dow Dow Industrials right now trading down uh, 300. Day. Well, let's go into the Dow quick before that break and see what's whacking the Dow because the Dow is getting whacked, no doubt. So uh, you get Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Oh, well, here let's do the points on it. So point-wise, you have, uh, yeah, Caterpillar's putting... Uh, Caterpillar's putting a negative 69 points. You got uh, Visa, 33, Boeing, 31. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 388. You get the NASDAQ uh, flat. S&Ps are uh, down 19. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. And he also has a great newsletter. Now, coming up, you're going to have a real treat. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, uh, a week from tomorrow, next Wednesday, he is going to be doing a... Uh, live webinar that's going to go from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., okay? Uh, so check it out on the front page of TFNN. Uh, bottom line, topics that are going to be covered. We're going to be talking about entry and exit points, addressing where to add and subtract in the positions. Uh, bottom line, let's get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, right here so he can talk to us about exactly what he's going to be uh, teaching out here. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. So let, let's talk a little about the webinar first, Basil. So in over the, over the decades, what I've been doing is slowly trying to refine to make it as simple as possible to identify particular patterns within the Chapman Wave methodology. And uh, to, to that regard, I've refined it to the point where um, I, I look at the, the charts, and in every single chart you can see there's a straight line up and a straight line down at some point, and then there's a, a cup or an arch formation. It could be an yes. V, but it's basically going from one point down and then going back to that point. Okay. And just like you, like you try to assess, you look at volume and try to assess what the volume is when you go back to a particularly important point. So I like to do that, and I use my own technical indicators. So I look at three patterns, straight up, straight down, cup formation, arch formation, and then I draw in patterns that mix the two. One and two would be uh, the green where it goes up, makes a cup formation, and how it takes out the left side high or gets uh, meets re uh, resistance is very important. And on the downside, that's mixing one and three, you come straight down and then you make the arch formation. How it tests that left side low is very important. And even just out the glimpsing on the charts on the left here, you can see we've got these patterns right here. So what I've been trying to do, and I, what I like very much is during my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, I like to demonstrate live what we're looking at. So, you know, when you look back, when you look at the textbooks, 
Of course, the textbooks are perfect. First of all, the person choosing to make the textbook has chosen the ones that work perfectly. And um, you're going to have a reference point that is historic. I like to make it projections. So even today, uh, during my during my show, and then I also uh, subbed in uh, Larry's hour because he was unable to do that, I showed a particular chart patterns and I showed how you can draw in a time sequence. So from the left side, moving up, to the right side could be the same number of bars. I just finished this. In fact, some of the people in the den would have seen me doing this live. I had already drawn in this left side green line to the midpoint, that little kind of doji, which is always a very good sign. He has a doji candle at the top. He has a doji candle at the bottom. You don't even have to know what the chart is. I'm telling you, it's the E-mini one-minute chart. It doesn't matter that it's one. If you were looking at this chart, you'd have no idea whether this is a one-minute or a monthly chart because charts repeat. There's a, there's a fractal of human nature that gets repeated over and over. We go from uh, ex excessivity or uh, too enthusiastic to very, de uh, very depressed or very low. And that's what the market basically does. And I showed that there was a time sequence from the left side to the right side in an arch formation. And that one particular per period would be over here. And the next one I drew in would be right here. And that, here it is. It's two bars late and it missed going to the exact left side low of uh, 13.52. Now what we do, if I invert that, you'll see that this is exactly what I will, I'll will. i be teaching. I use the one-minute chart only because you can get weeks or days of, of, of uh, positioning in a very short term. So it's like a, an yes. accelerated lesson. Right. Because what happens, which is really great, folks, is that when Basil is doing this live, what ends up happening is that when a system works, it works whether it's a one minute, five minute, ten minute weekly. So you get is, you, you get to get to see that on a continual basis live, which is so cool. Yeah, there's no because doubt. Because you don't, you, no one knows what the next bar is really going to do. Right. What you're projecting either works or it doesn't work. Right. And that's that's the proof of the pudding. So in this cup formation that I love to talk about, that that's the uh, number two was the cup formation. Look at this. The Dow has formed a cup formation. And my objective always in the chat wave, and this is what I'll be teaching as well. I do that live during the day when I do my show. I talk about how, trying to identify the lowest low and then counting each successively bar. It's on that fourth highest bar, alphabetized A, P, B, P, C, P, D, at that fourth highest bar that other things can happen. Well, lo and behold, we've been long since the low of the Dow. Uh, back on the 17th of June, and we've had a number of uh, diamonds, uh, the long diamond positions, and we still have. And there was this doji candle at what? The fourth highest peak, peak D. And that's where I say to subscribers, we've got to be a little bit cautious here. So the high that was made at 32,972, and what I was saying is 32,900 should be strong resistance. Here we are in leg D. The QQQ which is what we have a very aggressive uh, long position via the TQQQ, three times long. Um, we've been taking a little bit soft because they're basically trading uh, vehicles, very wonderful trading vehicles, but holding them long term, you really have to be in the up move for a while because anytime it goes sideways, it's going to shrink, the, the premium will shrink. So we've been taking profits. We took another bit of profit today, up about 28%. Uh, it, uh, these are very nice vehicles. So. There it is, leg D, probably a peak D today. Peak D is where other things can happen. That's what I teach in my courses. And uh, there's another one that we belong is NFE, which this is a, an oil and gas company, New Fortress Energy Inc. A shares natural gas fuel solutions. Here we are. This is the pattern that I was just describing. This is the inverted pattern of that big arch that I was looking at in the one minute chart, the E mini. Here is NFU up 65 cents today, 50.09. We've been long since about a week ago at 45.51. It's only in leg C. And look at this beautiful left side, the number of bars on the left going from 52.37 high of the 7th of June, came down to the uh, 6th of July at 36.26. And now we're expecting that you've got another day or two to go to try to get to at least 51, close to that left side high. So these are patterns that repeat over and over. And what's exciting about this is it's only leg C in the weekly chart. I'm anticipating a leg D above 52, 37, one penny above stars leg D. So these are these are basically fractals. Uh, these these are daily charts, but we can do that at any point with a, with a one-minute chart, five-minute chart. And nothing changes. It's just 
you're looking at a, a different time frame, that's all. And folks, it's very easy to come into Basil's newsletter, come over right to our website, you're gonna see it right under featured content. Bottom line, it's a week from Wednesday, just hit that checkout button. Now what happens, folks, is that you get, the, the workshop's $295. You get his full newsletter with that workshop. So it's a huge amount of information. Uh, you're going to be out there, you know, bottom line, six hours, great, great, uh, five hours, great information. And if you can't make it, folks, it's archived. So you can basically go over it again and again. And the rea reality is that you want to go over it a few times anyway, no doubt. Basil, yeah. you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show to, uh, tomorrow, and we really appreciate you doing those two hours, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now is down 295. You get the NASDAQ up 15. S&Ps are down 14. Let's go take a look at the SPY because what we had had here is two separate ABC structures on the way down. So what the question is, is that the ABC structure for the 335, is it still in place? So let me just show you how what came down here, right? So when we take a look at this, we, the first ABC structure had a price projection of uh, 365. And what ended up happening, we hit 362. Now you can see, this is the second ABC right here. The bottom line is that we check out that weekly with... 650 million versus 500. And the bottom line is that, you know, you came off that low. We're up here now. So what would end up happening is that you can say it's a complex one. Okay, that's that's number one. Um, so the, the reality here, here is that, okay, 
can you think you're going to go back and test this low? Now, you certainly can test the low because it's a high volume low. But when we put this, let's well, see what happens here. When we put this on a monthly, what you're going to see is the bottom line is that this actually had a contraction of volume versus the month before. So my take is that that second ABC structure down to 335 is not going to fly. You know, because my, my larger take, which I've said plenty of times now, is that we've hit a bottom. That's my take on it. I think we've hit a bottom. I think it's going to be deviant beyond belief. I think what you're going to see, you're going to see a lot of backing and filling and, you know, paranoia. That's for sure. But the bottom line is that I think we hit a bottom. If we go look, take a look at uh, Freeport Mac Moran FCX, this is a very large gold and copper company. Uh, this baby here, you know, I'd say is off the bottom too. You know, the, what you have out here, uh, they have a high volume high from Friday. That's up at uh, 3173. You're backing down into another high volume of 27 million with 14 million. That's Santa Juan's higher price. Now, where that brings us back to, now let's go to boil, because we had a question about boil. Is boil an ABC structure on the way down? So, boil is the natural gas 200% uh, pro share inverse correlation of the natural gas. So, if we take a look at this, Yeah, it went too far for an ABC down. One second, hold on. Let me see this. Because I believe that it just... Yeah, it did. So what happens with an ABC down? I, I can see what you're looking at. It came, came down with volume, went up with lighter volume. But it, you see when it hit the 0.618, it actually had some volume on that. You know, uh, So we hit the 0.618 with 3.9 going into 4.9. But you don't, you, you're not looking... F well, first off, you don't... When it goes over a 0.618, that negates an ABC structure up or down. That, that's how that works, okay? Um, the aspect of uh, higher volume there also negates that, that level. That, that's how that shakes out. So um, let's go take a look at the TLT. If we take a look at the TLT out here. The TLT, this is a 20-year plus. Uh, that's down $2.12 right now. Trading 117 because all the bonds are getting hit right now, no doubt. Um, that being said, it's light volume. I mean, if you're in it, I wouldn't just, yeah, I'd hang right there, man. You know, because you go, you're going into, look at this one here, is 24 million shares. You only get 11 on the way down. You know, looks like there's going to be, let me just see the 10 year. The ten, so the 10 year right now, we're 2.57 this morning. We're 2.74 uh, 2. Well, 2. right now. So uh, there's no doubt that's, that's a big move. The dollar is the number, man. You know, if this dollar decides it's going to uh, take off again, man, um, you know, it's going to be a problem. And the number to keep your eye on on this dollar is going to be this uh, 107, uh, 264 level. That's, that's the level that's out there that if it gets on the other side of that level once again, um, it's a problem because once it gets on the other side of that level, man, it can go topside. Let's go to Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on? Hey, how are you, Tommy? I'm Tommy's doing good, here. man. Yourself? Yeah, fine. Thank you. So um, let's see what we have here. Oh, uranium um, minus. I see. Okay. So you get Sprout. Yeah. This is a little uranium ETF, and it looks, geez, it's doing pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what they have inside here. So you got... It's radically different on a daily, weekly, and monthly, but... Yeah. So let's see what we have here. Okay, yeah, I can see that. It looks good, man. <laughs> this is a good-looking chat, yeah. So, yeah. you know, I mean, you can see this. Like, you know, we go back to June 7th. I love seeing something like that, man. Do you know what I mean? That's a big sign of strength. Yeah, then it came yeah. down from 73 all the way down to 54, then got another sign of strength last week. So that's telling me this thing wants to run up to this uh, 75 area. That's how yeah. that's set up. There's a swing there at the beginning of June. Yeah, let me put this in a weekly now. That was the daily, right? Yeah, so the weekly. Off you go. Yeah, this is a good setup, man. It's a good setup. I really, you know what I really like about this rank? You, you know, you can place your stop pretty close, man, because you can see 
the last time mm. with volume on the way down, we came to 56.72 with 3.8 yeah. million. Then we tested it with 1.7 million. Right. You know, that's a, that's that's showing you that and, and it's going against the strength, which had 1.5. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't look like it's going to get back to that 94 uh, swing high in April, but that's right. Uh, it wouldn't have to, you know, yeah. it's it, these are what, what happens here. If you want to see something at highs, folks, that Frank picked up, this is important to wrap your head around for a second. OK, and this is what it is. See, we had a high volume spike up at 98, and it was great volume, 6.1 million, and then it made a top with 2.7 million. You know, when the differential's that dramatic, it's like, oh man, okay. So that's why it you know, went from 104 all the way down to 59, which is yeah. insane. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to get this, I'd love to grab onto this long term from my portfolio. Look at that dividend. I got a 7% dividend on this thing. That's huge, I, man. I don't know where they're getting it. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. I, um, so, you get the holdings. Yeah, it's going to be leverage, man. It's going to be leverage for sure. Well, because I don't think Kamiko. Let me see if Kamiko. That's as good as Tiger Real Estate, seven percent. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know where they're getting seven either because Kamiko is the largest uranium stock out there, and it only pays three tenths of one percent, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I know it. But it's it's, it's good looking, Frank. It is good looking. There's no doubt, man. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. Okay, man. You have a great one. A safe one. Dow, yeah. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 254. You get the Nasdaq up 28. S and P's uh, uh, down 10. It's going to be Starbucks. S B U X after the close. If you're trading the NDX 100, folks, the St Starbucks. Keep your eye on it because what happens is that Starbucks is does have a good size weighting inside the NDX. Uh, the way this is set up, you know, it's bottom line has come off. It's come off the low of uh, 68 dollars. You're trading up at 83. It's going to be a close call on this, man. Let me put this on a weekly. Look at what a dog this has been. My God, and they're still charging a lot of money. And I, I am a Starbucks fan, too, folks, okay? 126 down to 68. Yeah, it doesn't look to me like it's going to get any traction, man. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 285. You get the Nasdaq up 16, S&Ps are down 14, we'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro dollar, pound dollar, Aussie dollar, Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. 
Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. We got to go look at this stock. This is sick. <laughs> AMTD. Okay, so <laughs> this is the, the Reddit crowd is at it again, folks. And this is this one. Oh, hold it. What just happened? Sure. AMT, no, AMTD, right. oh, I see, AMTD Digital, that's what I need, right? AMTD Digital, yeah. there we go. Okay, so watch this. This is about as sick as you get. So, and we did have a tiger in the den, folks, Dan in the den, it showed this at 40 bucks, man. This is this is crazy. I mean, this is like as insane as you can get. So, is this a daily? <laughs> this is sick. So five, yeah, five days ago, it was at 37 dollars. No, three, six, six days ago, it was at 37 dollars. It's at 2,000 dollars. Yeah, you heard that correct. <laughs> this is you kind of, This is like sick. So. The low for the year is $12, which was generated on July 15th, because this, uh, this went IPO. It's trading $2,000 on the button. It's saying here it has 20 million shares outstanding. And, and my records here that don't have any revenue. <laughs> oh, man. I just don't even, you can't even, like, what do you do with something like this, man? I mean, the, the burn is going to be extraordinary. Um, they went to, they got to 25.55 today. Let me just see this intraday. This is, yeah, sell it if you own it, that's for sure. You know what's still weird about this too, folks? There's not even any value, volume. There's only 337,000 shares traded on this thing. So I have no idea. Look at the spread. So the spread right now, if you're watching Tiger TV, the, the top is the spread, right? 1980 by $2,100. That's the spread. One by 41. Everyone's trying to sell it at $2,100. They're willing to buy it at 1980. Yeah. Yes, it's it's definitely inside the Reddit crowd. Yes, exactly. When you see just about anything that's like that, yeah, the Reddit crowd is uh, is there uh, in spades, man. That's just that's just that's how it goes. No doubt about that. Let's go look inside the uh, NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. So you got Lucent's up six uh, percent. You got uh, Dexcom up five point five. Airbnb's up five. You're getting two the surgical up five. Now, isn't let me just see. I'm not sure whether that came out last night. Yeah, it must have come out last night. They came out last night with numbers up last week. Yeah, last night. And the X, okay. So that was the winners, the losers out here. You got Old Dominion. That's a trucking firm. That's going to be interesting. That's down two. Two and a half percent. You got Ross Stores off 2.7. Intel's off 2.2, and NXPI is down down two. Um, 
You don't want to see those chip stocks uh, banging, uh, getting backwards. Uh, that's that's the real bottom line. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, what a market, man! I'm telling you. Let's let's look at the Dow for a second. So, if we take this Dow, I want to see what this is pushing against. Okay, so I see what's happening. Yeah, same deal. The, the, so the Dow has never made it to the, the June 1st level. The June 1st level in the Dow was 33,248. We made it to 32, 33,248. We made it to 32,972. The composite, inside the composite here, look at this, the composite's over it. So this gets interesting. This is really interesting, man. The composite's over it. I see what's happening now. Look, look what's happening here. The composite's over it. See, you're getting, there's some real flack here, man. If you take, if you're looking at my screen right now, you can see the first, the white line is, the, it got over June 1st, right? But this second line, the red line right now, that is your supply line. And that supply line is brutal, man. Because you're gonna see when you bring this back, you know, same deal. You can bring this back all the way over to January or December of 2020. So it's gonna it's gonna take some uh, you know building cause that in order to get through that. But you know, listen, this market is basically right now, you know, teetering, and I expect what we're gonna see is that you're gonna back down a bit. So what will happen is this: if I'm right in the in the assumption that we're gonna back down a bit, folks. What you want to look at is that what is the volume on the back down? Because we're going to learn more about do we have a bottom in on the first pullback? Because the first pullback, if the pullback comes with light volume, bottom line is that that bottom's in. Because we've, we've tested that bottom so many times um, that if you back down again, particularly what, what normally happens is this. If, this. if the back down doesn't occur really on a Monday or a Friday, because we still got like three weeks before Labor Day here and we go back to normal trade, not summer trading. What would happen is that, that that market would have a chance to have an accelerated volume as it sold off. And if you don't get that, guess what? It wants higher price. And we'll see how the rest of these, you know, uh, interest rate hikes are going to go, how the job market's going to go, how all the above is going to go. I can tell you just, you know, around here in the in the context of jobs you know uh, i suspect some people are losing jobs but everywhere you look you still see hiring bonuses all of the above um and you know it's <laughs> when you have that this is you know the, there's jobs out there man so uh the real question i suspect is going to be do people want to work? <laughs> that, that's that's the real number, man. Uh, you know, after COVID changed the whole dynamic about uh, where I want to be, not where I want to be, where it seems like most people want to be. You know, so if we go over, let's go take a look at the spy right now. If we take a look at the spy. The spy is not going to have the volume. It's not going to hold price. So I did 51 million. Yeah, this is this this is this starts to back down. Okay, because Friday you did 87, we did 69, and it's not in. It's not. Th this is like pretty amazing, actually. That they're not selling it. Okay, it's down a bit. They're not selling it, but they certainly are not pushing with volume. We are going to have another contraction of volume after trying to get up into highs. Uh, the NDX. Now this is going to be amazing if the NDX contracts also because. You know, it was pretty close to having, yeah, different, yeah, it's, it's still pretty close. Yesterday, yeah, we'll still, it should do 46. We're, we're at 44 right now. Um, it slowed down, but the bottom line is that that's going to show that um, you'll probably get a failure of 316.29. And that, that'll be a failure with light of volume because we did 57. Well, we'll see. It can, it, can, it can do 57. They can do 57 in 15 minutes pretty easy. Uh, particularly because what you're going to have uh, SBUX. Let's just go look at Starbucks again. My take is that Starbucks is going to back down, but because it's been croaked already, it's like, okay, man, you know, I can see, you know, they, Starbucks has pricing power. That's the bottom line, you know. It's going to take quite a bit to, you know, folks that have a Starbucks, uh, you know, coffee, uh, 
addiction <laughs> to basically go somewhere else. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow's down 342. NASDAQ is off uh, five and a half. S&Ps are down 21. We'll come right back. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 357. NASDAQ's off 4. S&P's off 22. Let's go to Keith in Cedar Rapids. Keith, what's going on? Hey, Tommy. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Yeah, I'm doing great, man. Thanks. Hey, got a question for you. What do you see going out six months or so, if you can? Uh, you know, there's some people that made good calls in the past that uh, are making some um, uh, very, uh, uh, calling for some very difficult times, and I just wanted to see what you thought. Um, yeah, you know, my crashes, that kind of thing. Do you see something like that? On the I don't. Horizon? I don't. My take is that this bottom's in. You know, I think we can get some testing, like the spy could test, you know, 383 or something. That's the high of the low spike. Mm -hmm. But I think it's in, man. And one of the main reasons, there's a couple reasons. One of the biggest ones, I think the dollar's topped. And when you actually look at some of these high flyers, right, you're talking about high flyers that have been down, you know, 50, 60 percent. So, yeah, the market's like down. It took like a 33 percent hit. But I think that's it. And I, I know how deviant that is, meaning that, you know, normally what has, has happened in Keith is that coming into, you know, September and October, it's a horror show. Right. I mean, that's but, yep. you know, my take is that uh, 
Yeah, my take is that I think this mm -hmm. bottom's in. It's because it tested so many times, man. It tasted and it just couldn't break it. So. Got it. Well, appreciate all you do, Tom. Okay, man. You have a great one, a safe one. And I, let me tell you, folks, I know that's quite a call. <laughs> it's, it's like I couldn't even believe it myself. Like, because what ended up happening is that, you know, as, as you're trading this market, it's like, okay, my whole gig is price and volume. And so, you know, when, it, when you can't bust it down, man, you're going to go bust it up. And when you start putting this together, that would be the most deviant thing that the markets can do. You know, uh, and then when you look, when you, as I just said to Keith, when you look at a lot of the prices that we already have out there, you know, this, the high flyers, some of these high flyers down 60, 70 percent. I mean, that's pretty intense. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.